my room is right here. You can actually see my, my bookcase. There wasn't anything left to salvage in her parents' home on Old Coach Drive that Charlotte Edwards had just moved into a year ago. Yeah, I felt like I was finally okay with since last fire. I was like, okay, I finally got, you know, settled back in. I'm finally back home with my family. Unbelievably, Edwards has been through this nightmare before. Six years ago, the day before her birthday, on November 8th, the deadly and destructive campfire destroyed her home and wiped out the northern California town of paradise as she ran from the flames. The second we got in the car was a one way out of that place. So we were stuck in traffic for bumper to bumper for like an hour, watching as the sky just got blacker and blacker. Then last week, the day before her birthday again, the mountain fire came raging through her Camarillo neighborhood. Yeah, so I've been through this before and I just looked at everything that I had and I was like, just replace, this is all a replacement from the last fire. She left with her parents with only the clothes on her back and her three cats. All of a sudden, Charlotte jumps up and says, I've been through this before, I'm packing up now. And two minutes after that, the smoke started coming through. Like so many had to do, her stepdad, Charlie O'Dell, says they left with very little. It breaks my heart for her. She's, um... She's a very resilient, strong kid, but you know, when you face this kind of devastation, you wonder like, you know, you just wonder like, why me? But Edward says she is grateful that they are together and they're all okay. Even after experiencing all of this loss from both of these devastating wildfires, Charlotte says she does want her family to come back here and rebuild. That Ventura County is her home. They do have fire insurance, so they say they hope to be living here again in the next two years. In Camarillo, Jasmine Beal, KCAL News.